Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It is yet again time for Birchbox versus Ipsy. I feel like I just put out one of these videos. So today we're going to be opening Birchbox and Ipsy for July. And if you guys want to know more about these, as always, the links will be right down below for you. But let's go ahead and get right into it. This month we'll be starting with Ipsy, and I'm really excited to see what this is like because what I've heard is that it's pretty good this month. And actually, the bag's not looking too bad either. I love this pattern. So the theme for this month is Summer Lovin'. And let's go ahead and zip this right on open. I really like the feeling of the bag. It's almost kind of canvassy and soft, so it actually feels a lot more high quality than it did last month. Do you guys remember that bag? It was terrible. There's a lot of cool things in here, one with bubble wrap on it, but this one caught my eye first. So this is the Eva NYC Freshen Up Dry Shampoo, and it's in this super cute little salmon -y spray bottle, and seriously, like, could this packaging be a better color? I just think it's so cute. But I love trying new dry shampoos, and I really like, between Birchbox and Ipsy, I have gotten quite a few, and the majority of them I've really liked, so that's super exciting. I just feel like with the formulas, they really, really vary, so you never can pass up a dry shampoo sample. Yes, some of them are horrible, but you never know. You might be surprised. The smell on this, though... It definitely smells like a hairspray, and I've come across a few formulas that almost smell exactly like this before, but it's not the worst thing in the world, but when you use, like, the Batiste one and the Dove one, and those smell so good, I kind of wish it had a better scent. But anyway, I'm still going to give it a try as always. This bubble wrap thing, I just, I seriously have to get past it or I'm going to keep thinking about it. So we're going to go ahead and open this up, and it looks like there's some eyeshadow in here. I can't resist! So if I could figure out how to get this thing open, okay, there we go. Go. It does feel a little bit plasticky though. Let me take out this applicator. But in here, the colors are looking really pretty. There's almost like a off-white, almost slightly gold color up here. Then you have a nice champagne, one that's just a little bit deeper that's in that same champagne family. And then this one that almost looks like a burgundy, but you can tell that all of these have shimmer. I'm going to quickly put some swatches on my hand, but really from the first feel, they're feeling really nice and buttery. I'm kind of surprised. They don't feel like um, powdery at all, which is awesome. So far, so good. These swatches are turning up really well. I'm sure I'm going to do a close-up for you guys so you guys can see these beautiful colors because honestly, a lot of them are almost in like the pinky family. Can you guys see those? I mean, seriously, I am very impressed with this quality so far. I definitely see myself using these shadows. I'm so excited for this one. Yay! So next up is a little chapstick and I'm so excited I got this because I follow Kara Amelie on Instagram. She's one of my favorite, favorite YouTubers I've been watching for a long time, but she got this in her ipsy bag because she posted a photo of it. So this is the Jersey Shore Sun Mongongo Nutrient Dense Anti-Aging Lip Conditioner and it seems like the flavor or the scent or whatever is vanilla coconut cream. So this is USDA organic and I don't know I've had kind of a past with organic lip um chapsticks or whatever you want to call them because I feel like they don't moisturize as well and they can be slightly greasy so obviously I don't want to mess up this beautiful lip I have going on and if you guys are curious I am playing with Bite Beauty Opal today. I seriously got it in the mail a couple days ago and seriously it's so pretty. I have it like in the center of my lips. I just love it so much so I don't want to mess that up right now but I'll put like a little I guess swatch on my hand. Honestly though oh my gosh okay this is very interesting. It goes on very smoothly. It does feel very moisturizing, but that scent, I am not a huge fan of vanilla or coconut scents, so I was like, uh-oh. When I saw that, I was like, ah, oh, hopefully I like it. But seriously, this smells almost like an almond joy, and I love those. <laughs> There's a few things left, and something is coming out of here from Tease Cosmetics, and it's a Read My Lips moisturizing lipstick, and the packaging is so cute. It's really graphic and pretty. Um, I think this shade is killing me softly, and I'm hoping that this is the color because it's a super bright, almost looking coral, and it just looks awesome. So it looks like it's in like a little stick form. Let me get it out first. Ah, come on, I can't get it. It has a skull on it. That is not my cup of tea, but the colors are pretty. So I'm going to open this up. I think I saw that on the back here. It's an eight hour long lasting lipstick, but it's supposed to be moisturizing because, you know, sometimes those can be kind of drying. Why am I like taking forever to think of my thoughts today? But the color, okay, now that I'm seeing it, it seems a little bit more every day than I was thinking, but it doesn't look bad. It actually does 
doesn't look bad at all because when I swatch it, it's actually kind of bright and it's a very pretty color. In a swatch, it definitely comes off a little bit more pink than it looks in the tube. Oh my gosh, Ipsy, you are killing it this month. I can totally feel my swatch already setting though, which does make me think that this is going to be very long lasting, so I'm really excited. I just hope it doesn't dry out my lips too much, but I cannot wait to get this on and see this color. I think it's so pretty. And last but not least, it just looks like there's a pair of tweezers in there from Crown Brush, so that's really cool. They're just black and they do feel like a really nice kind of heavy duty tweezer. And I love that they featured it or included it this month because I feel like mine get dull very quickly or I lose them. So I can never have too many of these floating around my room. So yeah, this thing is definitely going to get a lot of use. I'm sitting here looking at all of these products and I don't think I've ever been happier with Ipsy. And that's so exciting to say because Ipsy has definitely been falling short for quite a while. But after looking over everything, I think I'm going to use every single one of these products, which is incredible. So I think I am going to have to give Ipsy a 10 out of 10 this month. Now onto Birchbox. Look at this beautiful box. Like seriously, the back is beautiful. The whole thing is beautiful. I just love how Birchbox does this, don't you? Seriously though, Ipsy put up a fight man this month. So I don't know if Birchbox is going to come through, but of course there's like all these cards in the front. I'm going to grab the one with all of the products on it. And it looks like the theme for this month is go bold. And we got some nice, is this chartreuse or is this just like yellow? It's kind of like neon yellow. So getting right on in here, I'm not seeing a whole lot of stuff, but it still looks fun. So let's get into it. So I have to start with this very unique looking thing. And on the card, this is the Orbe. I think that's how you say it. Dry texturizing spray in the full size is $22 to $42, depending on the size. So this just says to shake well and spray it wherever you want volume. And I'm really excited about this. Um, it just comes with this little cap and the packaging is really interesting actually. It looks super high end but with my short hair I'm definitely going to give this a try right now because I've been feeling like I have to tease a little bit more at my crown just because of my shorter hair so I'm really excited to try this so let me shake it up real quick. So this could be a little dangerous because I don't have a mirror but I'm just going to kind of oh wow it sprays out kind of strangely hold on. So over here, I think I sprayed a little too much because it feels just slightly dirty over here. It's not a bad thing. I'm on second day hair anyway. But what I can't get over is the smell on this stuff. And then also, I definitely feel like it gave me more volume. So I could see this becoming like a staple product for me just because of the scent, which I can't get over. And then just because I've been needing a lot more volume lately. So, so far, I'm really loving this. And really quick, I was just looking on the card and it says this multitasker soaks up oil and gives hair body and bounce. So it almost seems like it's a dry shampoo plus a voluminizing spray. Seriously, what more could I ask for? The next package in there is from Real Chemistry and this is the Luminous 3 Minute Peel. So I'm guessing that it's a mask on the card. It says obviously the name that I just told you, but it also says that this acid-free peel gently exfoliates for insanely softer, smoother, brighter skin. And the full size is $48. Quite honestly, I love trying new masks and so I am kind of excited for this. I want to see what the sample size is like. And it's very interesting. It's kind of small, but it almost has like this spout on it, I think. I don't know. The spout's not as big as you would think, but it's still kind of cool packaging. But I really like, like I said, trying new masks because I feel like different formulas can do different things for your skin. So with this one, with it being a peel, that kind of puts me off just slightly because I do have very dry skin and I don't want anything too harsh as far as masks go. But I definitely think that every once in a while I'll give this a try but I also may have Jerome try it as well because he has more oily skin than I do. That's really interesting though. I was sitting here reading the back and this isn't a mask that you like put on and leave on for 20 minutes and then rinse it off. What you actually do is you put it on clean skin when it's still slightly damp. You massage it for 15 to 20 seconds and then you actually will feel like little skin beads coming up under your fingertips it says and that shows that it's working. So then once it does that you still massage it for about two to three more minutes and then you just rinse off. I'm glad I read that or I would put this on my face and leave it on and that would be kind of bad. So yeah, I just hope that this isn't too harsh, but I definitely will be sure to give it a try. Oh my gosh, so a little lip gloss was hiding in there. I thought there were just two of those things and then this, but no, here is my beautiful Stila lip gloss that I remember picking from the email. Hallelujah. So this is the Stila Look At Me Liquid Lipstick and it comes in a trio and that set of three is 
colors. But the shade that I did pick from the actual email, let me find it, was Bella. And it's a very beautiful, bright pink fuchsia color. It says that this creamy formula glides on like a gloss, yet lasts and lasts and lasts like a stain. So that's super interesting and exciting for me. You guys know that I love lip products and I haven't tried a mini from Stila. And this color, I think in the email, there was like a coral and a red and then this one. And of course, I had to pick this one because it's summer and this is my color. The applicator is really interesting though and I feel like the formula is a little bit more thick than I was thinking, but holy crap, this stuff is pigmented. Seriously, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look how beautiful and opaque and bright that color is. I cannot remember the last time I was so excited about a lip product from Birchbox or Ipsy before, but seriously, like this formula, I'm so excited to see how this stains my lips. But I'll be sure to put it on for you guys so you can see what it looks like. But man, this stuff is bright. Like that's even surprising me and I love a bright lip. So yeah, very, very, very excited about this one. Moving along to this little package, there's actually two things in here and the first thing I'm pulling out almost looks like an eye drop container and this is from Dr. Jart. This is the Ceramidin liquid and the full size is $36. This ultra lightweight ceramide packed treatment calms and deeply hydrates the skin. Wow, so that's really, really interesting. I would have never thought, because to me this almost seems like a moisturizer kind of or maybe like a serum, but I never would have thought that it would come in like a bottle like this. That's kind of neat and it does totally look like eye drops. What's up with that? I'm just going to put like a little drop on the back of my hand to see what this feels like but because I do have such dry skin I'm always looking for products like this and I really like that it's like a serum almost seriously like it comes out it blends in it doesn't feel overly greasy but it does feel super moisturizing and my hand is so soft right now that's so cool though because it does feel slightly slick once I put it on my hand but now it's completely like soaked in and my hand is so soft oh my gosh I cannot wait to get this stuff on my face and I have a feeling that I'm just gonna love it. And last but not least, I have a little sample size of the Benefit Their Real Push-Up Liner and the full size of this is $24. And it's an innovative gel liner pin that hugs the lash line and easily smooths on a waterproof swoop. Now that video that I did on this was kind of a long time ago. It was right when it first came out, but I remember thinking that I didn't really love it because this formula in here is like a cream and then it has this kind of very interesting actually like rubbery tip that the product comes out of. So if you want to see all of my thoughts, I'll go ahead and link that video down below for you. But this stuff was just a little bit tricky for me. And I'm, I don't want to say I'm a seasoned pro at the cat eye, but I've been doing it for so, so long that I feel like I kind of have a handle on all formulas, but it was something about this tip that made it a little bit difficult for me. But I've also heard from people that say that this little tip actually made it easier for them to create a cat eye. So that's awesome. It's really just perfect personal preference, but personally, for me, I would pass this up and just reach for like my regular felt tip liners that are crazy easy to apply. So yeah, this was just a little bit finicky for me. The formula also, I don't think it stayed put as well as I thought it would. I feel like it kind of wore off in my inner corners, but the one great thing I did love about this was that it was a matte black once it dried. So it's kind of like wishy-washy, but I definitely think that if you could get a handle on this little applicator, this might be a good thing for you. Seriously, I am struggling right now. Oh my gosh. I'm looking over Burst Box right now, and if I'm being honest with you, I want to give it a 10 as well. Like, is that possible? Can that happen in one of these videos? And I'm going to quickly try to go through my reasoning because I'm giving this one a 10 for a whole different reason than I'm giving Ipsy a 10. Okay, are you guys ready? Hopefully this makes sense. So with Birchbox, I love these three products, the volumizing spray, the lip stuff, and then also this little Dr. Jart like moisturizing serum. And then the other two are good, but I'm not crazy, crazy about those. So just because of these three, I am so darn excited excited for them that almost that makes up the 10 for me because they're products that I know I'm probably going to love and repurchase and that's really exciting. But when it comes to Ipsy, 
The products themselves, I'm not as excited for than I was like with the ones for Birchbox, but all of these products are good all around. So it's really, really hard for me to do this, but I think I am going to make it a tie this month and say that these were both perfect tens. I don't think this has ever happened before. So you guys have just witnessed history in the making because this is the very first time this has ever happened. And I've been doing these videos for a super long time, but I just feel like with these bags and these boxes this month, both of them definitely stepped up and I feel like they both deserve a 10. And really quick, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but I haven't been putting the final totals for the bag or the box in this actual video. I've been putting it down in the description box for like the last one or two months, but be sure to check that out if you want a list of the products because I always link them as well if you want more information. But also I've been putting the whole net worth, I guess you could call it, of the box and the bag. So yes, these are both $10, but when you actually go in and figure out the prices for each individual sample, it always is more than that. So if you want to see how much bang I got for my buck, then definitely check the description box. But do you guys feel like I handled this the right way? Do you think Birchbox and Ipsy are both deserving of a 10 this month? Like seriously, this is blowing my mind, but I would love to know in a comment down below. And then as always, please leave me what you got. I find it so interesting that some of us can have the same exact box or bag, and then some of them are just like so crazy different. It varies so much. And please don't forget to give this a huge thumbs up for more Birchbox versus Ipsy unboxings. I swear this is probably the happiest I've ever felt doing one of these videos. But I'm going to go try all of these products now, guys. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!